What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and Blackout received quite a few cool little changes and additions to the game with the recent 1.19 update such as contracts across all the modes including Blackout Battle Royale and each one comes with their own unique challenge so for Blackout there could be something like kill 5 enemies with a sniper rifle and then there could also be one for zombies that says reach round 25 However, you can only have up to two contracts active and every single day a new contract is going to refresh with the ones you completed from the previous day. Some of them are a bit more tedious than the last one and of course may require a bit more of a challenge. But still, nonetheless, contracts are an amazing addition to Black Ops 4 because potentially you can do 28 contracts over the span of a single day if you plan on completing them for Blackout, Multiplayer, Zombies, and League Play. So that's a whole lot of XP, a whole lot of supply drops to get. Um, of course, I do stand by my opinion that the reserve cases and, and XP are kind of a bummer because I personally feel that you should be able to unlock some of the weapons that are locked behind reserve drops or um, just some of the loot items in general. But it is what it is. Of course, it's a step in the right direction. So contracts, a very good thing for the game. Also, two new updates in the game are the humiliation animations. And I absolutely love this because instead of just walking up to a downed enemy and hitting them with your gun or wasting the bullets to full kill, you can use a humiliation to add a little bit more of a variety and epicness to your kill. I'm not sure if there's going to be different animations because so far I've only seen one where the player just stomps the enemy's head down on the floor finishing him off. Um, again, I think it's pretty cool. It definitely does add more flair to the game if you will. And then a brand new equipment to the game that was added is the sentry turret which of course can really help you and the team out defensively because you can hunker down in that sentry turret and, and just blast people away. It's really really good in the game so um, that's a pretty cool little piece of equipment there. And then another new feature are medals. So kind of similar to the multiplayer mode, um, completing certain events in Blackout grants you medals that rewards merit. So um, these can be uh, used for say like reviving a player or assisting an animation or killing a, a quad or a duo by yourself, taking down zombies. Um, that kind of stuff is how you can earn these certain medals and, and again of course they are going to grant you uh, more merits in the game so I, I think that's a pretty cool little feature for Blackout. But of course like in every single Black Ops 4 update there has to be something that goes wrong and out of everything so far that's happened with this game such as weapons locked behind reserves, the same weapon charm, death effect, camo, etc. across all weapons this is what has me the most concerned with Blackout Battle Royale and the future for the game. So in Blackout, there are these new stashes called Blackjack Stashes, which can be found once per game and used once per game. And each Blackjack Stash contains every single Black Market or Supply Stream weapon in your inventory, such as the Vendetta Sniper Rifle, the Peacekeeper, the Ballistic Knife, the SWAT, the Daemon. So some of the best guns in the game that are sadly locked behind supply drops can only be used in Blackout Battle Royale if you have the weapon unlocked. I really do hate using the phrase pay to win, like it just literally gives me a, a disgusting feeling inside. But guys, this is honestly what Blackout has come to. Again, all of these weapons locked behind supply drops are fucking crazy good. And I just do not understand why Treyarch or Activision made this decision to, to, to do this. Like, you know damn well how fans feel about pay to win, not even just in the COD scene, but just gaming in general. It's not how any game should function, but you still don't care. You don't listen to what the fans say for years now. And you go ahead and add weapons locked behind supply drops that can only be used if you have spent money on COD points or if you get the fucking lucky ass chance of getting them in supply drops. Like this honestly just pisses me off and it has me the most concerned for Blackout because if these weapons are going to be able to be obtained through these Blackjack stashes only, um, you know, it, it might just be a done deal with, with Blackout Battle Royale because these are some of the best weapons of the game. Like, the Vendetta Sniper Rifle can one-hit kill anybody up in the head in Blackout. It doesn't matter if you have level two, level 3 armor or, or maximum health. Like, you're still going to get melted by this gun. Um, Peacekeeper shreds, S6 Stingray, that shreds in multiplayer and Blackout, of course. So, 
Um, I just don't understand why Treyarch made this decision to lock behind, lock weapons behind uh, supply drops, and, and even worse, make them pay to win in Blackout. It, it does not make sense to me. Um, I do hope that they can see this and possibly change up the model for the Blackjack stashes. Um, but again, like I said in my last couple of videos, it really does feel like I'm just preaching to the choir because every single update something always goes wrong something always causes fans to get pissed off and and, and mad at Treyarch or Activision and, and they just don't care they don't fix anything they don't change up anything um, they just keep adding more updates that are you know decent and better for the game but then they take a couple steps backwards with something that can potentially kill the game in as a whole so um, not a fan of the blackjack stashes, um, but please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. I'm excited to play Blackout. I, I am. I'm having a fun time, but there's just one little thing in every update that just causes me to feel not motivated to want to get on every single day and, and play for hours at end. Like, I don't know, guys. This update was pretty dang cool, um, but the, just this blackjack stash feature just <laughs> left a bad taste in my mouth. But again, please tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comments and all the other updates for Blackout Battle Royale. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.